Oh. You're trying to get me in trouble. My thoughts on the penalty. Okay. Um, <laughs> a very harsh decision. I don't think it is a penalty. I think once it's given, obviously, whatever side you're on, and we were against it today, there's the opportunity to relook at it again because it's a key moment. Um, is it a mistake? In my eyes, yes. Uh, that's a very, very harsh penalty, which obviously we had to deal with and accept. Um, were you happy with the way you finished the game, though? It seemed like you guys were sort of running over top a little bit. Yeah, I thought we were exceptional second half. I thought they were probably the better team in the first half, um, which sometimes you have to accept. You have to go through periods of the game where you are not in control. But you can be in control even when you don't have the ball. I thought our ball decisions were not quite right. We were making silly elementary mistakes when we didn't need to. We corrected that at half-time. Full credit to the boys, they took that on board and we played through them a lot better and a lot cleaner in the second half. And said if there was another 10 minutes, I fancy let's go and nick the winner. Um, that's a team obviously that won the AFC Premiership reasonably easy last season. You guys, how do you feel you measure up against them off that performance, knowing that there's a lot more to come from you guys than some of your players? Yeah, uh, listen, I think people like storylines and like drama and emotions and all of these things, they are the best team. They've won the league the last two years. You know, I said that to Bimby in the lead up to it, they are the best team. They're the team that everyone wants to beat. So it's a good marker for us. You know, we're early on in the season, we're changing things in that locker room with personnel changes as well as the playing, playing what, the way of playing or playing style, however you want to call it. Um, and that will take time, but it was a good test for us, an early test. And sometimes it's better to get these early to see where you're at to then work moving forward. But delighted for the boys to put a lot of effort in today. And it, I think it was a really good game of football. Uh, they usually are, the derbies. But still, it's relatively so early in the season for you. You must be pretty happy with how quickly everything seems to have gelled. Yeah, there's certain parts that I'm happy with. There's certain parts I'm not. Obviously, I think you know, on another day we could have probably won the game. Uh, we missed some good chances, as, as they did in the first half. Um, but as the game grew, I think we were the stronger team, which is credit to our, our sports science team. Our fitness levels were high, which is good, which I want us to do, because if you're going to play at your peak maximum levels week in, week out, you need to be fit. Uh, I think the two wing-backs showed massive enthusiasm getting forward and, and back against, obviously, their wide players or full-backs. Um, so, yeah, lots of positives, but plenty of stuff to work on as well. Excellent, excellent. Doesn't surprise me one bit. Obviously, that's only second full game. Um, exceptional last week. Exceptional again this week. Probably the only disappointing thing for Tommy was that he probably could have scored and should have scored. Um, but if my wing-backs are getting chances, it's great. Obviously, the Tate, he crossed the ball. So, no, you should be pleased with that performance. Is it final third that you're looking for improvements? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are in the, in the build-up phase. And I thought we were very good at that playing through them sometimes and not all the time you know they pressed us well at times and they got good players who can do that as well the middle third was a decision whether you go through more around them we did it and it's the final third we had we had chances you know and that's why you pay the boys the big bucks at the top end of the pitch is because they put the ball in the back of the net so we need to work on that we'll continue to work on that but you know it was a positive performance I'll just go to the uh, computer Adrian you got one yeah, sure. Um, Carl, first of all, uh, you talked about this being a real test for you guys. Do you, do you feel overall that you passed the test? Well, if we would have won, uh, I would have been or drawn or lost. I think I would have given you the same answer. I focus on performance, uh, and sometimes that's not easy to say when it's a, when it's a derby game. The result, you know, for me is is important because it gives player confidence. But I wouldn't say we passed the test. I think we we put a, a marker down of where we're at. We know we're not the finished article, and we probably never will be. But we know we're working towards the right direction of how we want to build and how we want to play and and the phases within the game. So. Uh, lots of good stuff, lots of stuff we can certainly improve on. There's little details which I sometimes get annoyed at uh, and the players are aware of that, which I've got a nip in the bud pretty quickly because against good teams and Sydney are a good team, they can hurt you, which they nearly did. So uh, we'll we'll put that in the locker and when we face them again, I'll try and address that. Where do, where do you kind of feel the most scope for improvement lies with this team? I think they need to believe more. I just said to them in, in, at the end of the game there that you know, it's all very well me believing in these players, but if they don't believe in themselves and, and channel that, f football's played in your mind as well. You know, the physical elements, you've got to be fit and you've got to be able to run and move and things like that, but 70% of it's in your mind. You know, how you prepare, how you want to play, you have pictures and, 
You know, it's, it's easy to say, oh, I'll just turn up on a Saturday. That doesn't happen in any line of work. The more work you put in, the, the more rewards you get. So, you know, they have to believe that they're good players, but they have to put the work in. They have to believe they're a good team and they have to commit to being a team and be a good person. You know, if you're not a good person, you can't be a good teammate. You know, and that's the line that I said from day one I walked in the football club. You know, I'm willing to help any single person who's willing to help me. You know, that's, that's in your makeup and it's a good trait to have. But sometimes people only get it when they become fathers or mothers and, you know, with family because it's not ingrained in you. But if you've got good people, good values, you can test them more, you can, you can push them a little bit more. So there's lots of areas to work on. But the way we play with the ball is certainly a big, big improvement and it's going to get better because you said, you know, it's not easy to have more of the ball than, than Sydney, who have been the best team for the last two years. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. You know, that's the reason why I build a squad. Uh, some players will probably be able to play again. Some players won't. You know, we, we're carrying a few knocks and bruises as you expect in a derby game, and you know there will be changes. And now it's the the players who haven't played today or been involved as much will get the chance to play because every player wants to play. I accept that. I understand that. Um, but it'll give more young lads a, an opportunity to play, which which is exciting as well.